Barnaby Joyce, uh, thanks very much for your time. Your position hasn't changed. Uh, what do you think, though, of the, the ministry itself? Well, the position has changed somewhat. I'm sorry. It has, because we've uh, got water in there as well. I, I, I meant the title. The, 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 yeah, well, you're right. Apologies. Yes. That, no, you don't have to apologise. It's all right. It's early in the morning. <laughs> I'll forgive you. Only this time. Um, look, I think that obviously with the new Prime Minister comes a, a new um, creed, a, a new ethos. Uh, everybody leaves their stamp on it. Howard left his stamp on it. I don't know how um, uh, Gillard and Rudd, but they definitely left their stamp on it, especially Mr Rudd. Uh, Abbott had his views and now um, Mr Turnbull's the Prime Minister and Mr Turnbull is picking a cabinet. I, I think that it's, uh, it should be good. I think that's, it's good to see that um, with new people in new positions, obviously there's a real vitality that comes into it. People want to make a difference. They want to put their fingerprints on it. Um, they're willing to challenge the status quo and, and that is always important. Uh, there has to also be, that has to be tempered with experience and with people like Warren Trust still there. Uh, that's good because he'd be by far and away the most experienced cabinet minister now. And uh, so with these new ideas has to be the, the balance of someone saying, well, uh, sure, have a think about that, but let's, let's, let me remind you about what happened last time when we did something similar to that. Well, let's get straight to that issue of water uh, because that was part of the the deal with the Nationals was yeah. that the, the, the Nationals would get responsibility for water. But in this ministerial reshuffle, we see Senator Anne Rushton, Rushton who is a, a South Australian Liberal mm -hmm. Assistant Minister for Water, who will be holding ultimate responsibility for this uh, contentious area of policy. Well, might I say that, to start off with, I was the Shadow Minister for Water, so I'm very aware of this uh, policy platform. I worked there with uh, Simon Birmingham from South Australia, so we worked very closely in the past. And now with Anne Rushton, I'm sure we'll be able to continue on a very strong working relationship. Anne is uh, off the land. Uh, Anne has a strong experience in horticulture. Uh, she obviously understands uh, forensically the issues of South Australia. Ultimately, I'm the person who sits in Cabinet uh, and has carriage of the issue, and that's where it resides. So, uh, but I'd, I'd, I've always worked, and I think other people who work with me would say that uh, I'm very much the collegiate in how I work on issues. Um, I, I believe that uh, we can discuss things through. And there people, is a potential load of butt heads. Yeah, though, well, people can test that and experience. You know, ask Richard Colbeck, who I work closely with, you know, to be butt heads, or do we work issues out? Ask my colleagues who I've worked with. Uh, ask Simon Birmingham. Uh, my experience in the people I've worked with, both in politics and out of politics, formerly in business, is one where you uh, work through an issue and land yourself on a space that you can be both uh, comfortable with or equally uncomfortable with. And um, I think that a lot of the work has been completed in regards to Murray-Darling Basin Authority. So really it's an administrative role and uh, I'm happy that that's back in agriculture and and water resources, and I'm the Minister for Agriculture and Water Resources. When the deal was uh, was re-signed with the Nationals last week, uh, was there any indication that there would be a, a South Australian Liberal who would have not, not part only, responsibility not only for this? did I guess that there would be, I also guessed who it would be. So, okay. I mean, th this is not surprising. And I, myself and Anne, have uh, get along very well. And that's, that's a very good start. And uh, ultimately, um, I'll, in all issues, not just water, on all issues, uh, I'll be discussing with Anne, and, uh, whether it's horticulture, whether it's RDCs, uh, whether it's uh, turn, the continued turnaround of the soft commodity markets, the rollout of the white paper, which we fought for and got. All these things are incredibly important. We've got to land all these issues. We want to land them as many of, the, many of them as we can before the elect election. Uh, the one thing that in agriculture you're never short of work. It is it's a massive portfolio with massive ver and variant interest groups, and uh, we'll all have our part to play in making sure we deliver on that. Um, ultimately, when it comes to going to cabinet, um, it's re this responsibility lies with me, and therefore um, I have to um, own that portfolio. More broadly, are there enough enough nationals in in the ministry on the front bench? Well, Warren is still the Deputy Prime Minister of Australia, and that's extremely important. And uh, with what we have is that I think the Nationals would probably have the record for cabinet experience there, uh, with Nigel and myself and Warren. Uh, certainly Warren's the most experienced minister. Um, uh, now we have Michael McCormick, who will be assisting Warren. Uh, an interesting new role for Luke Harksick, an expanded role there, that's very important. And Fiona Nash with rural health, I mean, one of the key issues that we discuss all the time 
in rural Australia's health and she continues on and um, obviously Darren Chester and the work that he does in defence, uh, that continues on as well. So I think we've got a, a good uh, coterie of people who are willing to pursue the issues of regional Australia and with people like Luke Harksecker and uh, Darren Chester and Fiona Nash and, um, and Michael McCormick, we have uh, you know, th that also that capacity of the, the continued development of, of people in senior roles. Uh, with uh, the stable hands of Warren Trust at the top. With such a huge list though, I think it's something like 40 names, would you have liked to have seen a few more nationals there? Uh, look, in my heart of hearts, um, I suppose I'd like them all to be nationals. <laughs> <laughs> that's Good luck with that. But that's not what you get, is it? You know, of course you're always going to go into bat for your team and try and get as many as possible and as much as you can. It'd be odd if you were in a political party and you didn't. But you have to, you know, you have to negotiate and uh, you have to come to a deal. Uh, otherwise you end up back in another election, you don't want that. Barnaby, Bo Barnaby Joyce, uh, Minister for Agriculture and Water, thank you very much for joining us. You're welcome.